solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2025. In this question, we have been asked to find the length of the chord whose midpoint is given. So similar questions uh, had been asked in JMA in 2025, as in like similar type of question, like only the point was changed and we were supposed to find the length of the chord, the ellipse. So in the same manner as in like what has to happen here is that this uh, there has to be an ellipse drawn as in you can draw this ellipse. The idea is that what is this asking you? So if you are looking for an ellipse, for example, so now what we can do is so uh, we can create a small ellipse just for demonstration purpose as in what is happening here is that we have got an ellipse like this. And uh, so there is also going to be a chord to this ellipse, which could be passing like this. And this has got its midpoint over here somewhere, which is given as 1, 1 by 2. And then with this, you will have to find out these points, which will be x1, y1. And this point will be x2, y2. And then you can use the distance formula to find out y2 minus y1 whole squared and then plus x2 minus x1 whole squared. Now, to find these points, what I need is this equation of this line, and then we will satisfy the equation of this line with this equation of this curve, and then we'll be able to find these points. Once this is done, then we'll be able to find the distance. So we'll start with this. So first of all, a chord whose midpoint is given, can be given by this formula, which we already know, which is S1 equals to T or T equals to S1. So we can say this is t equals to s1. So xx1, again, I'm writing the tangents formula, xx1 upon 4 plus yy1 upon 2 minus 1 equals to 0. And this s1, the curves formula satisfying this point, which will be x1 square by 4 plus y1 square by 2 minus 1. Now you can just substitute the values of x1 and y1. So this will become x into, this is 1 by 4 plus y into 1 by 2 by 2 equals to x1 square is 1 by 4 plus y1 square will be 1 by 2 whole square. Let's write this upon 2. So this will become x by 4 plus y by 4 equals to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 equals to 8. And this will be 3 actually if I add it up then this will be 3. Now with this, what I get is x plus y equals to 3 by 2 by dividing it by 4. Now I can get y from here as 3 by 2 minus x. So what I'm doing is this is the equation of the chord. And now we are finding y in terms of x so that I could substitute in this equation, which is x1 square by 4, which x square by 4, basically the equation of the ellipse, x square by 4 plus y square by 2 equals to 1. So I'll substitute y's value here. So this will be x square by 4 plus y square by 2 will be 3 by 2 minus x whole squared by 2 equals to 1. So this will be x square by 4 plus 9 by 4 plus I'm expanding this. This is a square plus b square. So a square is 9 by 4. b square is x square and minus 2ab. Minus 2ab is minus 2 times x into 3 by 2 upon 2 equals to 1. From here, what I get is x square by 4, and this will be 9 by 8, and plus x square by 2. This 2, 2 cancels out, so this will be minus 3x by 2 equals to 1. I bring in 1 this side, and then club this x square by 4 and x square by 2. Then I get 3x square by 4, and then minus 3x by 2. And then I subtract 1 from 9 by 8. So then I get 1 by 8. So this is 1 by 8 equals to 0. Now I can take 8 as LCM. Then this will become 6x square minus 12x plus 1 equals to 0. Or this gives me 6x square minus 12x plus 1 equals to 0. Now Finding x1, x2 is tougher, but what I need is, as you see, x2 minus x1. So why don't I just do this as a, like what I'm telling here is that x1 and x2 be the roots of this equation. So what I'm interested in finding out is x2 minus x1 whole squared, which is nothing but x1 plus x2 whole squared and then minus 4x1, x2. 
So what I need is x1 plus x2 whole square, which is the sum of the roots, which will be minus 12 upon 6 whole squared minus 4 into x1, x2, which is 1 upon 6. From here, I get 4 minus 2 by 3. And when I sum it up, then I get 10 by 3 from here. So x2 minus x1 whole squared I got is 10 by 3. So one part is done. Now I want y2 minus y1. So now look at here. What I've got is this is y. So if I'm saying y, what is my y2? So y2 is going to be 3 by 2 minus x2. So what is my y1? So the y1 will be 3 by 2 minus x1. So if I want y2 minus y1, this is simply going to be, uh, subtract this from this. So what I get is x1 minus x2. So if I want y2 minus y1 whole squared, which is going to be equal to x1 minus x2 whole squared, which is nothing but x2 minus x1 whole squared, right? Now, all I need is the distance, right? So d is going to be equal to the distance is x2 minus x1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared, okay? Now, x2 minus x1 squared and y2 minus y1 squared, I'll just, the value which is 10 by 3 plus 10 by 3 itself, same value. So this will become 20 by 3, the square root of that. Then I can take 2 out. Then this will be 2 root 5 upon root 3. Then I rearrange it by just multiplying by root 3 in the numerator and denominator. Then I get is 2 root 15 upon 3. Yeah, so this is what will be my answer, 2 root 15 upon 3, which is this answer, right? So this is what is the answer of this question. So in this question, as I said earlier, as well in earlier videos, that all you need in this case is to find out these two points. And then finding these two points, many times you don't need it. As you see, that only I need is x2 minus x1 whole squared and y2 minus y1 whole squared, which is essentially the same thing. Most of the time, it will turn out to be the same thing. And then you just find out x2 minus x1 whole squared, substitute it in this equation, and then find the distance. So again, this is not like a very lengthy question it's still like a little bit calculation is involved only critical point is this one when you know this equation then you would be able to solve it otherwise it will be a problem just to find out this equation itself all right so that's all for this question if you got any queries do ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day